Hi there Piglets, it's me Brody, otherwise known as Porcine Assembly Line. Welcome to another episode of the Golden Pig Review Show. Uh, if you didn't catch this last week, here's how it works. I play three songs from the week's submissions in no particular order. I give a little bit of feedback after each one, the things I liked, the things I didn't like, anything that made me want to vomit uncontrollably. And then I pick the song I liked the most, and that one is awarded the Golden Pig Award, which has absolutely no value whatsoever. But if this little show of mine takes off, you might be able to brag to your friends that you won a Golden Pig before it was even cool. Don't hold your breath. This week, I didn't have a lot of submissions, but I had some very, very, very good ones. Um, so I just finished chasing these up, so I didn't have too much time to prepare my remarks on each one. So, you know, give me a little bit of wiggle room. If you feel I've been unfair, contact me. We'll have an online fight about it, like any civilized 21st century people. So the first track we're going to listen to today is from a local band called Mercuriquorum. They're from uh, Heathcote, just outside of Bendigo, where I live. And the track is called Life as a Lie. It's sort of an industrial sounding track, so if you're into that, I, I encourage you to check out more Mercuriquorum uh, using uh, the link to the SoundCloud account that you'll see in the description. Um, yeah, so I'll play that for you now and then we'll chat about it. I'll tell you what I think.
pretty cool. So that is Life as a Lie by Mercura Chrome. Uh, check out the link below if you want to hear a bit more. Uh, so what I would like to say about that one, the good side of things, uh, the instrumentation, the guitar, the bass, the drums, uh, all fantastically tight. Uh, you know, the tones are very well thought out and blend together quite nicely. It's an excellent, it's an excellent mix of sounds. The transitions uh, between sections, particularly what the drums are doing, just really brings the whole thing to life. It's, um, it's just got that well-developed industrial sound that anybody who's a fan of that style of music is going to love. Uh, in case you didn't notice, I am a fan of that style of music. Uh, what would I say on the negative side? Just one, one little thing, I guess, is that in certain parts of the song, the vocals really don't match the intensity of the music. Um, I noticed it more in, in the second section. It just, it gets almost there, but not quite there. So it's not like a, you know, flat out criticism, but for me, I just didn't feel on that particular track, particularly in the second half, that the vocals quite matched the intensity of the music. Take it or leave it, you know, that's, that's just how I feel about it. Love Mercura Chrome though. Definitely check out some more if you enjoy industrial music. So, for our second track, uh, and I had, I had the whole EP from this, this band come through and I had a really hard time choosing which track I liked the most. I had to sort of balance priorities um, over whether I wanted something that was quirky and fun or whether I wanted to go for something that was musically complex and uh, really interesting that might appeal to people who aren't quite as into weird shit as I am. So this track is from a band in Western Australia called the Terror Adapters. The track is called Hero Fell and it's off their EP Home in Time for Tea. So let's listen to it now and then I'll tell you what I thought. Sentimental Memory of that time became More than what it should have been Dreams were darker than before Waking burning in the dawn Scratching in the dirt, elevated. He paid the price it wasn't worth. She was his downfall, and that was just before all an animal couldn't see what we all saw. You drain that life force right Dimming visions haunt your sight Buried deep in all the sand Shape and mercury by hand
slowed up from grace. He had consumed it all and lost his hollow place. The memory of that zombie. That was Hero Fell by the Terror Adapters from Western Australia. So the good stuff, the stuff I really liked about that song that made me choose it over the other ones they sent through, uh, the vocal harmonies. Come on, we got to talk about those vocal harmonies. You're just not hearing enough of that these days outside of stuff like country music, but it just reminded me so much of some of the great vocal harmonies from, you know, like the Beatles and whatnot but just in, in the context of the music they put together, it was, it was fantastic. It just really drives the song and makes you almost want to cry. It's that good. Um, on the subject of uh, you know, stuff to do with the vocals, the, the vocal melodies themselves are sweet as. Really, really fucking enjoyed those guys. So big thumbs up on your vocal melodies. And you know, having listened to other stuff on that EP, you don't disappoint in that department on any other track either. Um, I love the use of feedback in transitions between different sections, like leading into the guitar solo, I think it was leading into the last, um, the last chorus. Really, really good use of it. Sometimes in music these days it gets overused just, just for the sake of sounding like noise rock, but I think it fit really well with what you did there. And I guess the biggest thing was like the way the music builds and falls throughout the track is just awesome, really awesome. So good stuff there. Um, the only that was only one tiny thing, and this is just for me that I didn't like is just the the ending, the the sudden ending felt a tiny, tiny bit forced. That's all. Other than that, sweet track. Really, really dig it. Uh, if you want to check out some stuff from the Terra Adapters, check the description. It's all in there. Okay, on to our last track for this week's Golden Pig Reviews. We have a track called Deranged by an act known as West and Skyward. Now, I haven't been able to dig up much information about West and Skyward and there, there wasn't too much to find there, but I can't tell tell you where they're from. You'll have to ask them yourselves. Um, you'll find a link to their SoundCloud account in the description. Um, this track is a demo, and I have to say, for a demo, it's, it's really, really well done. Um, but we'll get to my feedback after we take a listen. So here it is, Deranged by West and Skyward.
Okay, that was Deranged by Western Skyward. Um, what I really liked about that, the first thing that really grabbed me in that one was as the drums first kick in, you get this kind of polyrhythmic feel between the piano and the drums, and it just sort of like it keeps going off and on throughout the whole thing, but when it first kicks in, it really just grabbed a hold of me. Really like that. I think the vocals in that track are really solid. They have this wonderful smooth and relaxed feel to them. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm trying to think of who it's reminding me of, but I, I can't draw a name, but there's, there's uh, a singer that I really love who it's just, you know, their voice is being dragged into my head by that sound and I just, I can't name them to save my life, which really fucking shits me. But, even without the name, still made me really enjoy this track. Uh, the, the melodies between, you know, split up between the, uh, the vocals and the piano, they're just really nice. They, they fit quite well in the context of the song. It's, um, yeah, that, that, that was really enjoyable. Uh, the vocal melody is simple, but it, it, it kind of, you know, it drags it all together. And I just have to say about that one, it's really fucking sweet. Especially, you know, if you're calling that a demo, I cannot wait to hear what you come out with when you put something together for like a, you know, like a proper release. If that's demo quality to you guys, just keep doing what you're doing. And we will really enjoy what comes out of you when you decide to call something an EP or a single or an album or whatever you're going to call it. Um, on the negative side, <clears throat> gets a little, little bit samey towards the end. I mean, it's, it's got variation, but at times I didn't feel like the variation was dramatic enough um, to hold some listeners. I, I enjoyed it, but some people, some people might get a tiny bit bored. Just my opinion. Really good track though, really good. So, for the final part of the Golden Pig Review Show, as you know, we award a Golden Pig. And it was really, really hard to decide which track deserved it this week. Like, all, all three of those, Dynamite. Really, really, really liked them. Not too much wrong with them, in my mind. They're, they're pretty, pretty sweet. In the end, I decided that I think it should go to Hero Fell by the Terror Adapters. It's just, it's just the kind of track that really, really grabs you, you know? It, the, those vocal harmonies are probably the thing that got me over the line. They're just, you know, I, I just really enjoyed hearing that. So, tell all your friends that the Terror Adapters won a golden pig. Maybe it'll appreciate, I don't know. It might be worth something one day, but I doubt it, guys. I doubt it. So if you want your music, if you're a musician watching this, and you want your music in a future episode of the Golden Pig Review Show, send it through to me via my email, which you'll find in the description, along with links to find more music from all of the acts I played this week. Uh, keep sending me your shit, please. Brody out.